Good afternoon. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick, StockMarketMentor.com, and I want to look at ARC Innovation today. Uh, everybody, not everybody, but uh, perhaps you, always wants to kind of see what this is doing. You know, it was 2020's major massive high flyer, um, and it is still kind of in consolidation. Um, you guys probably know the story here. You should. But anyway, um, this is where I'm looking at this. This stock, I'm going to move this. This stock is really starting to set up. It's not quite there yet. If you just look at this stock and compare it to, uh, you know, the typical breakouts, um, what you what you tend to see is what I what I call a pinch and pop, um, where the stock's forming um, lower highs and a lot of times higher lows. It's not really doing that here. It's really uh, you know, really kind of forming a flat bottom. But if this stock is going to go higher, this is probably what you're going to see. You're probably going to see the stock pull back down. Remember, this is the 50-day moving average. That's the line of demarcation between bulls and bears, between buyers and sellers. And so you'll see the stock maybe even come up to test the 50 again. But then each time it does that, this downtrending line, gets tighter and tighter when compared to this one. And so then finally, boom, you know, you're going to get a breakout. And so the reason I'm looking at ARC is because it's not there yet, but what you want to be doing is you want to be looking at stocks that are almost there and then tracking them every day. If you see something that's just about right for you, then you go ahead and set an alert. But this is one that I just have on my list. I have my, I have on my list of trending stocks setting up. That's what it is. And frankly, I think I'm I'm kind of violating my own rules as far as um, calling this a trending stock because it's really not trending. I'm just looking at like the 200 day moving average. And also I, I know what this stock or ETF does. And so it's like I kind of don't want to take it off the list. So anyway, um, I like the way this is setting up. Frankly, I, I'd wait till it uh, hit above this about 127 or so before taking a small position. And it has to go back above the 50, has to stay there, and it has to do it on pretty good volume. So, okay, um, that's all I got for you. I will see you next time.